Over the last week, Hazrat Amirul Mominin, may Allah be his helper, continued to meet with the members of the Jamaat, including meetings with National Amila of Canada, the press and media team, and Lajna Imala. Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V, may Allah be his helper, delighted residents and guests of Peace Village by taking a walk down the streets on one of the last nights of Hazur's stay. Leaving Peace Village, Hazrat Amir Mominin, may Allah be his helper, traveled from Ontario to Saskatchewan. Arriving in Saskatoon, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V, may Allah be his helper, held a press conference with members of the Canadian press and media. Later, Hazur departed from Regina, the capital city of Saskatchewan, where Hazrat Amir Mominin, may Allah be his helper, would be inaugurating the Mahmud Mosque. It was on Friday, October 4th, 2016, that Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V, may Allah be his helper, delivered the first Friday sermon from the newly opened Mahmud Mosque in Regina, Saskatchewan. Prior to the sermon, Hazur inaugurated the mosque by unveiling the commemorative plaque and offering silent prayers. A purposefully built mosque, the construction of the Mahmud Mosque was funded by local Ahmadi Muslims. The capacity of the mosque is 400, with additional space for 100 people in the common area. In a first for Canada, local members of the Jamaat played a significant role in its physical construction, as many volunteered their time to help construct the mosque. A total of 41,500 man-hours were dedicated by local Ahmadi Muslims in building the mosque. In the inaugural Friday sermon to be delivered from the Mahmud Mosque, Hazrat Amirul Mominin spoke about the sacrifices made by the Jamaat and how they had helped keep the costs of building the mosque low. Speaking about the expenses, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih V, may Allah be his helper, said, <laughs> और कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स के से रात्ते किए गए तो कम से कम टेंडर भी ये कहते हैं कि दो इशारिया आठ मिलियन का था जिसमें बाकी अखराजात में लाकर तीन इशारिया पांच मिलियन डॉलर तक बात पहुंचती थी लेकिन जो कुल खर्च हुआ मस्जिद की तामीर की तामीर में और इसको मुकम्मल करने में वो एक इशारिया छः मिलियन डॉलर का हुआ है। अब एक दुनियादार इस बात को सुनकर हैरान होगा कि किस तरह हो सकता है कि ठेकेदारों के कम से कम टेंडर के भी मुकाबले में ने भी निश्चित से कम रकम में मस्जिद की तकमील हो गई। यकीनन एक दुनियादार इसका अंदाजा नहीं लगा सकता। हमेशा याद रखना चाहिए कि मस्जिद हमारी तरबीयत के लिए भी और तबलीक के लिए भी इंतहाई अहम है। Reminding Jamaat members of their duties to humanity, Hazur explained that we should not only be happy by construction of a mosque, rather our target should be to increase the number of people who believe in Allah and His Messenger the Holy Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Plus, aaj, dunia ko halaka se bachana ahmdi ho kaam hai. Aur, lekin uske liye shart wahi hai ki humare kadam aage badhe. Aaf rumaate hai ki ek aadmi ki khatar bhi lakhun jane bachai jati hai. Plus, har ahmdi ki bhoat badi zimedari hai. कि दुनिया को बचाए जब दुनिया खुदा को भूल रही है हमारा फर्ज है कि हम दुनिया को बचाएं After Friday prayers Hazrat Amir Mominin may Allah be his helper presided over a press conference attended by local and national media outlets Hello thank you welcome to Regina I just wanted to ask um, 
Of course, I think everyone is concerned about world events and extremism. Yeah. Everybody you, is concerned about? Sorry, about sort of world events and the growth of extremism and, and, and some of the intolerance. I'm just wondering, do you see a role for a small mosque here in the middle of the prairies to assist in, in, in reducing extremism and, and preventing extremism? Even when there was no mosque here, we were spreading the same message. And there are quite a number of big cities and towns where we don't have our mosques. But Ahmadi is living in those countries and towns, spread the message of love and harmony. You see, if our message is right, and this is the need of the day, then no matter whether they have a small community or small mosque, people do accept it. In a predominantly Christian country, this is a historic day for thousands of Ahmadiyya Muslims. Their spiritual leader arrived earlier this week for the inauguration of the Mahmoud Mosque in East Regina. Virginia Wright shares the celebration and the message. A historical day for thousands of Muslims. The first ever Ahmadiyya Mosque opens in Regina. Along with His Holiness being in Regina for the inauguration of the new mosque, part of his global tour also includes spreading the peaceful teachings of Islam. Hazur held one-on-one -on -one interviews with both Global News and CTV News Saskatoon. What do we as Canadians have to do to foster more inclusivity in the world? You see, what the world needs today is to stop all type of atrocities and spread the peace and love and harmony. So this is what every person should do. And being a big nation, Canadians should also play their role in this regard. And this is the first mosque in Regina that we've seen built. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? It's, it's been a long time coming. How does, how does that feel? You see, wherever there's MDM the Muslim community, there should be one place to worship. And the worship place in Islam is called mosque. So here we have got a mosque now where we, the all Ahmadi Muslims can get together for congregational prayer. And it is very much important when you have the place to worship, then you are more organized. So, this is why I always say that in every part of the world, wherever even a small number of Ahmadis are residing, there should be a mosque. The Regina Leader Post also covered the event, with the article being published the next morning. It's a historic day for the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in Regina. The inauguration of a new mosque featured a visit from a religious leader. CBC's Tori Gillis following it all. She joins me now live from downtown Regina where a reception is getting underway. Tori, tell us what's happening. That's right, Jill. A reception is getting underway for the next visit of the Caliph. Now, he is the world head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Just let that sink in a little bit. That is the top leader in the world for this group of millions of followers. And he's here in Regina. Now, of course, that's a major milestone for his followers here. Escorted motorcade arrived with the Caliph. He delivered a sermon and an inauguration for the first purpose-built mosque here in Saskatchewan. Again, the Mahmoud Mosque in the city's east end. Now, that's the first building that was built specifically to become a mosque. So it's a very big deal for the followers here as well. Uh, it was also built 100% by volunteer work. And you can imagine that it took a whole lot of it for that building. Later in the evening, a reception was held for the inauguration of the Mahmoud Mosque. The event was attended by several dignitaries, politicians, religious figures, as well as government officials and residents from the surrounding area. After welcoming the guests and thanking them for accepting the invitation to attend, Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V, may Allah be his helper, spoke about the current situation in the Muslim world, describing it as extremely precarious and turbulent. We are all well aware of the fact that recent years 
certain so-called Muslim extremist groups have formed and are perpetrating the most horrific brutalities in the name of Islam. Where they are fighting one another, they are also waging wars against their leaders and rulers. As a result of all of this, there has been a complete breakdown in society in some Muslim countries. Rather than living peacefully, those nations are mired in a state of perpetual and utterly senseless cycle of violence and destruction. What is happening can only be deemed as an absolute stain on humanity. Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, may Allah be his helper, also stated that whilst the local people in Regina and the wider Saskatchewan province had a good relationship with Ahmadi Muslims, there might be fears among the locals that the opening of the mosque could change the dynamic of that relationship. Hazur reassured them, saying, The only plotting that takes place in our Ahmadi mosques is to determine how we can quell the heartache and grief of those who are bereft and deprived. The only schemes we hatch are to remove the heavy burden of des desperation and hopelessness that weigh down those who are consumed by hardship and misfortune. Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V, may Allah be his helper, explained that the Ahmadiyya Muslim community was acting upon the true teachings of Islam and was conducting a true jihad. Our jihad is not a jihad of swords, guns, or bombs. Our jihad is not a jihad of cruelty, brutality, and injustice. Rather, our jihad is of love, mercy, and compassion. Our jihad is of tolerance, justice, and human sympathy. Our jihad is to fulfill the rights of God Almighty and of His creation. I believe the message that he gave is a message that it transcends borders and countries and it's it's something that whether you're in the city of Regina, in the country of Canada or anywhere in the world, uh, it makes sense and it's something that I think we should be all striving for. I listened to every word and I took it to heart and it, the message is fantastic, love for all, hatred for none. If all the world were like that, what a wonderful world it would be. I'm looking forward to participating in, in the prayer in, their, their, in, the, in the mosque. I think uh, that, that atmosphere of, of tolerance and, and uh, ecumenicalism is, is just what we need. It reminded me of Jesus, um, peace, love, no hatred, uh, humanity, you can treat one another with love and decency. On Saturday, November 5th, Hazrat Khalifa Tulmasi V, may Allah be his helper, left for Lloyd Minster from Regina. Lloyd Minster has the unusual geographic distinction of straddling the province border between Alberta and Saskatchewan. Upon his arrival, Hazrat Amir al-Mu'minin inaugurated the Beit al-Aman Mosque. <laughs> Prior to leading the evening prayers, Hazur conducted the Amin of several fortunate children. A reception for the inauguration of the Beit al Aman Mosque was held on Sunday afternoon. Hazrat Amir al Mu'minin, may Allah be his helper, attended a lunch with several dignitaries as well as politicians and local guests. Thanking all of the guests in attendance, Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V 
may Allah be his helper, reminded those present that the world was going through uncertain and troubling times. During his keynote address, Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, may Allah be his helper, spoke about the mosques and their true objectives, saying that the meaning of the word masjid was a place for people to congregate in complete humility and submission in order to worship God Almighty. The Arabic word for mosque is masjid. And this word literally means a place for people to congregate in complete humility and submission in order to worship God Almighty. If a person enters a mosque with this meek spirit, considering himself to be worthless, he can never wish any type of harm on others or be the cause of, cause of discord and animosity. A Muslim who offers his prayers with humility is a person who is kind, caring, and merciful, and who's, who strives to stay away from immorality, illegal activity, and all forms of evil. Rather than promoting disorder or division, mosques are a means of bringing people together in humility for the worship of their creator. We haven't had anyone of this stature, certainly for many of the, the spiritual communities around the world, uh, be present here. Uh, so I think it's a recognition uh, on the part of the city that we have, you know, this connection and and the fact that someone as as important as the Holiness would take his time to come here. I think is. Uh, is a sign and a symbol that, you know, we need to pay attention to this, we need to look at the good work that's being done, and we need to make sure we welcome everyone into our community. Well, I think His Holiness has, has done such a, a great job of reaffirming the importance of uh, what, the, what the mosque is, and he spoke about uh, the mosque as a place not just of worship, but of gathering and of community. And again, that perspective we have, uh, and so unfortunately, uh, the Amadea community always ends up, in my view, doing the heavy lifting. You know, you've got uh, certain radicalized elements elsewhere in the faith, and it's always the Ahmadi community who, who build bridges and, and reach out and, and do such great interfaith work. A man that uh, understands the world, understands the challenges we have in the world, but sees the good in humanity and how, if working together, we can create a better world for all of us to live in. A press conference was held later in the day, which was graced by Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, may Allah be his helper. Several members of the local media attended this meeting, including 106.1, The Goat Radio, New Cap News TV, Lloyd FM, Vermilion Voice Radio, and the Vermilion Standard. History was made in Lloyd Minster this weekend as the head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim faith, the Caliph, was in town for the inauguration of the local Ahmadiyya Mosque. Josh Ryan has more on the Caliph's visit, which local leaders say already has made an impact in the border city. Since I was here on my tour to Canada, so I felt it appropriate while going to Calgary, I stopped over here and visit the Lloyd Minster. The Khalif also met with local dignitaries, surprising them with his interest and background in farming. We had an opportunity to discuss agriculture to a great extent, and it was an incredible experience uh, as he was asking about the farming practices in our area. The Khalif is continuing to tour Canada and help share the true teachings of Islam. If you summarize the true teaching of Islam in two sentences, that is to love your creator and discharge his duties and you love your fellow beings and discharge your, their duties you owe to them. Afterwards, local members of the Jamaat were able to meet with their beloved Hazur, and many took photographs as a keepsake of the occasion. Later in the evening, Hazur traveled back to Saskatoon. On Monday, November 7, 2016, Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen, may Allah be his helper, presided over two classes with Lajna and Khudam, post-secondary students. After Tilawat and Nazam, students gave short presentations on their research, which was followed by a brief question and answer period. Uh, my research is on honey 
and uh, Haksar uh, is doing a postdoc uh, in the University of Toronto. And uh, Huzoor, uh, just a uh, few days ago, you sent uh, Huzoor, you, uh, I received a letter from Huzoor Yaktas in which uh, Huzoor said that I should tell Ahmadis to go into the field of honey research. So I will just present a few of uh, some of my research and findings. Salam from Huzoor. Uh, my question is, do insecticides, have the, has it been proven that they have any kind of effect on the honey? or is that filtered out when the bees actually create the honey itself? The studies, the honey bees are actually very, very good at taking out any impurities uh, from the environment. So uh, studies haven't shown that any insecticide residue uh, yeah, remains. Yeah, residue effect uh, no, uh, no, so uh, the studies. Insecticides, uh, okay, it's just a small way. See, honey may, honey may, it's not a good thing. Uh, honey may, uh, honeybee is very good at removing those. Oh, honey sector, which insects, which which insecticide spray किया हुआ है, जिन crop पे या flowers पे, उस पे जो honey ने जाके nectar लेना है, तो खुद ही मर जाना है. Honey मरना ही नहीं उसे. क्योंकि अक्सर जो insecticide हैं, systemic इस्तेमाल होते हैं अब. तो वो साथ ही जब चेट travel कर जाते हैं, system में तो खत्म हो जाता है. इसलिए तो मक्खियाँ मर रही हैं ताकि मैं 30 परसेंट जो इनके फार्म है वो तबाह हो गए हैं इंसेक्टिसाइड्स ज़्यादा मेजर मेजर कॉल्स का इंसेक्टिसाइड्स ही हैं अस्सलामुअलैकुम वरहमतुल्लाहि वरकातुह प्यारे हज़ुर मेरा सवाल ये है कि अक्सर ज़िंदगी में जब मुश्किलात होती हैं तो दुआ में दर्द ज مگر جب زندگی میں آسانی پیدا ہوتی ہے تو خدا کا شکر تو ہوتا ہے لیکن دعا میں وہ درد جوش جنون نہیں رہتا اس کے لئے ہمیں کیا کرنا چاہیے اس لئے خدا کا شکر بھی نہیں ہوتا اگر صحیح شکر ہو تو شکر میں بھی تو ہو جاتا ہے لوگ کسی کا کسی کو پیارے کو ملتے ہیں کسی قریبی کو ملتے ہیں تو کچھ نہ کرتے ہوئے آنکھوں میں آسوا جاتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے بس اس کا مطلب ہے کہ وہ پیار زیادہ بڑھ جاتا ہے اس وقت اللہ تعالیٰ کے پیار سے اگر صحیح شکر گزاری ہو اللہ تعالیٰ کی تو اس شکر گزاری میں ہی جوش ہو جانا چاہیے پیدا دیکھیں سبسکوینٹلی ان دی ایوننگ حضرت خلیفتو مسیح دی فیفت میرے لبی از ہیلپر وزیدد دی کنسٹرکشن سائٹ اف دی بیت الرحمت ماسک بیلٹ آن ایٹ ایکرز آف لینڈ وین کمپلیٹ دی بیت الرحمت ماسک ویل بی ایبل تو خول with an overflow capacity of 1,100. It will feature a funeral preparation room, in-floor heating system, and will also use solar power. ये वाला जिम्नेजियम है, मल्टीपर्पस हॉल है। ये अभी इन्होंने रबर के फ्लोरिंग की है, तो आज ही की है, तो ये बैठ है। Departing from Saskatoon to travel to Calgary, Alberta, Hazrat Amir al-Mominin, may Allah be his helper, arrived safely at Betul Nur Mosque at approximately 12.30 p.m. Nusrat Khuda Kare 
Located in Calgary, the Beit Nun Mosque complex was built on 48,000 square feet of land and was inaugurated by Hazrat Khalifa Masih V, may Allah be his helper, on July 5th, 2008. Around the exterior of the building are written the 99 attributes of Allah, as stated in the Quran. مشکل کوئی بنے نہ کسی جا بھی سد رہا مشکل کوئی بنے نہ کسی جا بھی سد رہا ہر حال میں تمہاری اعانت خدا کرے ہر حال میں تمہاری اعانت خدا کرے تیرا سفر ہو باعث رحمت خدا کرے دنیا بگوش ہوش سنے تیری بات کو دنیا بگوش ہوش سنے تیری بات کو On Wednesday, November 9th, Hazrat Amir al-Mu'minin, may Allah be his helper, attended a large press conference held at the Beit nur Mosque. Several prominent members of the Canadian press were present, including CTV, Global News, CBC News, Metro, and City TV. As it was the day after the U.S. presidential elections, several journalists asked Hazur's opinion on the matter. Hazur also discussed Islamophobia, as well as the Syrian migrant crisis. Majority of the media outlets present in the press conference broadcasted the report the same day on television and the internet. One of the most prominent Muslim leaders on the planet is in Calgary today, and you're going to hear his thoughts on President Trump next. Welcome back. One of the world's most influential Muslim leaders is in Calgary today, and he isn't shying away from last night's election results. The Caliph of the Ahmadiyya Muslims spoke at a mosque in the city's northeast this afternoon, and he thinks Donald Trump's pledge to close the U.S. border to Muslims was only a campaign tactic. Afterwards, Hazrat Khalifa Tumasi V, may Allah be his helper, conducted a one-on-one -on -one interview with Ian Campbell. We've seen some cases of Islamophobia, very sadly, some in Calgary, parts yes. of Canada, and all across the world. Yes, yes. Why do you think that is? Is it ignorance? That is ignorance, and because of their vested interests, of those extremist groups and some of the clerics. They have misconstrued the true teaching of Islam and true teaching of the Holy Quran. If you read the Holy Quran, even like I've been quoting so many verses of the Holy Quran in my different lectures and addresses, Quran never permits you to behave like this. Later in the evening, Hazur, may Allah be his helper, graced an audience of Khadam and Lejna students of Calgary. After Talawat, Nazm, and short presentations, Hazur answered questions from some students. Assalamualaikum, Hazur. Uh, my question was that at times in life we come to a junction where we have to make one decision out of two or we're unsure of what to do. And religion tells us to pray to Allah to find out what to do. But we don't always get a direct instruction or direction as to what to do. 
and each decision has its consequences. So do you have any prescribed method or a way you prefer on how to go about it or to make a decision when we're not sure? pros and cons what to do hmm? जो बेहतर है अल्लाह ताला उसमें मेरे दिल में उसके लिए सुरत पैदा कर दे और उसके दिल अगर उसके लिए दिल में ख्याल बैठ जाए कि ये बेहतर ऑप्शन है तो ये ठीक है जरूरी नहीं है कि तुम्हें खाब आए या इल्हाम हो या किसी खास तरीके से पता लगे अगर दिल की सेटिस्फेक्शन हो जाती है तो वो ठीक है इस्तिखारा का मतलब ये है استخارے کی بات کر رہی ہے نا کرنا کیا اس کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ اب جس میں میرا دل بیٹھ گیا ہے اس میں خیر ڈال دے اللہ تعالیٰ اسپیشلی جو مسلم کنٹریز میں ہو رہا ہے آج کل اور مطلب ان کا ہر نظام غلط ہے کرپٹ ہے آپ کے خیال سے کہ یہ سلسلہ اسپیشلی مسلم کنٹریز میں کتنے عرصے تک چلے گا کتنے دیر چلے گا حضرت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے یہ پیش گوئی فرمائی تھی کہ جب اس جمانہ بدل جائے گا اور مسلمان نوہ کا دین بگڑ جائے گا اور مسلمان اس حد تک بگڑ جائے گا کہ وہاں وہ اپنے علماء کے پاس بھی جب جائیں گے تو ان کو گائٹ کرنے کے بجائے وہاں وہ ایسے لوگ دیکھیں گے جو جانوروں کی طرح ہوں گے جو ظلموں پہ ظلم کرنے کی طرف توجہ دلائیں گے مطلب ہے کہ گائیڈ کرنے والے ہوں گے سب کچھ بگڑا ہو جائے گا نظام بگڑ جائے گا ٹھیک ہے نا اس زمانے میں مسیح مہود آئیں گا ٹھیک ہے اور مسیح مہود کو مان لینا ٹھیک اور نشانیاں بھی بتائیں آن صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے بتائیں قرآن کریم نے بتائیں اس زمانہ تو یہ ہے ٹھیک ہے اب یہ مسلمان جب تک اس اللہ کے آنے والے کو نہیں مانتے یہ لوگ اسی طرح بگڑے رہیں گے ٹھیک ہے اس لیے ہمارا کام ہے زیادہ سے زیادہ جو اسلام کی صحیح تعلیم ہے وہ ہر جگہ پہنچانے کی کوشش کریں As this truly historic tour comes to an end there have been many remarkable and unforgettable moments from Hazrat Amir al-Mu'minin may Allah be his helpers historic address at the Canadian Parliament to holding classes and educating students in each city Hazur has attended a wide range of events, including a large number of press conferences, as well as opening the first purpose-built mosque in Canada, constructed by volunteers in Regina, Saskatchewan. It has been an incredible experience to have Hazrat Amir al-Mu'minin, may Allah be his helper's presence, as Canada celebrates 50 years of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat's establishment in this great North American country.